A question that I received lately is in regard to methylene blue and one of the potential side effects that is listed. On multiple sites, including UpToDate, Drugs.com, and a few others, it lists extremity pain or limb pain as one of the potential side effects. In fact, it states that it is one, that it is one of the most common side effects, listing an 84% prevalence rate which is pretty big if you think about it. 84% of people, that's more than four out of five people that take it that are supposedly uh, having this side effect of limb pain. What's interesting is that in my clinical experience, I am not finding anything close to this. This particular person had a question about that as to you know what would be the mechanism of, of that and also, you know, how can it help with pain? Because there are some reports and studies that have shown that methylene blue is helpful for pain. It has an analgesic effect. I looked a little deeper into this to, to try to figure out what was uh, the reasoning behind this particular uh, percentage and, and this particular side effect. What I found was that this side effect was found in a, one particular study that was done. They were studying a formulation of methylene blue given intravenously, two milligrams per kilogram, which is a pretty large dose. And also this did not include any oral um, formulation of methylene blue, simply IV. And there were a total of 82 uh, patients in this study. And what they found was that 56% of these patients reported moderate to severe extremity pain during this particular administration of the, of the medication. And that um, a total of 69 of those patients had some pain, at least some pain. So 69 out of 82 is where they get the 84%. This was only done on, on patients that received intravenous methylene blue. However, when you look at the, the websites like UpToDate that reports adverse effects and side effects, it's not as clear as to you know, what formulation is going to cause that potentially. And again, in my clinical experience, I have not seen this be an issue with anyone that's taking it orally. When we look at this particular side effect or any side effect, we have to look back at where was this reported? Was this an aftermarket report? Was this done through a clinical trial? And if it was, look at the clinical trial. It's so easy to just simply throw a percentage at something because we trust a website that, that shares that. Up to date is a good website. I use that quite a bit just to keep keep up on, on things and to look up things that I may not have as good of knowledge of. So when you look at something like this, you, you would hope that you can trust it. But again, when things don't line up clinically, then I think it's important to really dig a little deeper. And so I think as far as the answer to the question as to where this came from, that that is exactly where it came from, a small study intravenous care and uh, certainly not something that you can correlate or, or extrapolate over to an oral regimen of methylene blue, especially if you're going with a lower dose of methylene blue. Two milligrams per kilogram, like I mentioned, is, is a rather large dose. The other thing, the other question about the mechanism, to be completely honest, there is no mention nor is there any speculation as to what might have caused that. I don't know. I, I can't say. I you know I don't think it was the the IV site that they're talking about because usually that is reported, and I did find a, a place where that was reported to some degree. So I do think that it's probably a side effect of the actual intravenous administration of that medication, and that's most likely where it, where that uh, uh, that pain is coming from. Exactly why I don't know, but what I do know is that it seems to be a safe medication to take for most patients taking it orally and at an appropriate dose. And it can even be very safe at, at, at higher doses as well in cases where that's needed. I think more importantly than anything, and this could be a, a whole other video, but more important than anything is watching for seroteno serotonergic effects. Uh, if someone is on a, a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, for instance, methylene blue can potentially exacerbate that issue causing serotonin syndrome. And so that to me 
is probably the most important side effect to monitor for and be careful with, especially if you have a patient that's on or if you're on methylene blue along with one of those other medications that can affect serotonin levels. I hope that this was helpful. And I know I didn't explain where the pain is coming from, but the, the answer is honestly that we don't know. Uh, but I can say confidently that I do not think that this applies to oral methylene blue.